I'm Marla Tipping and I've been a member of Hennepin for a little over 25 years and have had the opportunity to serve in many capacities over the years, including generosity team and strategic council and uh, finance committee and many other opportunities as well. And I'm John Nygren. I've been a member here for a little over 10 years and in my time here I've had the good fortune to chair a strategic council and also have uh, spent a fair bit of time on Sunday ushering. A little over a year ago, Hennepin gave me and several other members the opportunity to participate in what is known as the Action Project with six other congregations in the Twin Cities. And the Action Project exists to help white churches understand their role in eliminating racism understanding bias and examining all of the things that we do that we may do in a good intentioned way but that turn out to have a really negative impact on our community and on our world. And that opportunity came to us through Gia Star Brown, Pastor Gia. Pastor Gia came to a meeting at the Strategic Council and explained what it would be about and it was immediately something that, that the Strategic Council said yes, this is something we ought to do. And it consists of monthly meetings where we actually hear people's stories and listen to speakers who educate and illuminate the things that happen in our community that are at their core just racist things that we need to do differently. And especially the role of the church in, in perpetuating racism. Uh, one of the speakers was uh, Reverend Jim Bear Jacobs who was at the Minnesota Council of Churches. And he would share stories about growing up as a Native American and a man of God and, and how that, that intersection has, has challenged him, uh, including uh, one particular session, he talked about his family history with, with Native American boarding schools and how devastating that experience was for, for his family members. One night, uh, Pastor Jim Bear, at the end of one of our sessions, asked several of the black women to talk about specific stories where they had experienced discrimination. And um, I, I still carry that with me because they told us some things that night about what we could do as allies that I didn't clearly have in my mind until I heard their stories. Which made it a lot more powerful. I think it's not just us reading in a book. Those are powerful as well, or, or can be, but, but really hearing kind of personal experiences from all the speakers of, of you know, prejudice discrimination that they had suffered. I'm very proud of the way our congregation has stepped into some very uncomfortable issues this last year. During a pandemic, after the murder of George Floyd, that we stayed focused on our strategic initiatives of racial justice and marriage equality, turning outside our church walls and taking all of our abundance and putting it to work in our community. As people of privilege and abundance, it's very easy for us to sit by and watch and not really take an active role. And I think this year has emphasized the importance of actually actively taking steps to be an ally. And this action project gave 50 people in this congregation the opportunity to spend a year thinking about where we are and, and what we might do differently. And I think it, it's been time well spent. I think it's important that Hennepin has resources to pursue initiatives like the Action Project because they really uh, challenge us as a congregation and as individuals to, to you know, be better people and to you know, live into scripture and, and the word of God. We will launch forward from this Action Project into some phenomenal things. As you consider your gift to Hennepin this year, think about the fact that we as a whole are greater than any individual gift. And when we combine our gifts, there's really nothing we can't do.